Hello, British folk. I'm Julia Fox, and this is what's in my bag. We'll start with my book, because I always carry one, because I'm always giving it to people. When I called it a masterpiece, I actually had not written one word yet, and I didn't expect that sound bite to go so viral. So then it really turned the pressure up, and then I had to deliver. And so far, I'm being told that it is, in fact, a masterpiece. I'm not in the business of ruining anyone's life, but I do think that I have the right to tell my story. There is one part of the book that's about a particularly famous relationship that I was in that the media has really wanted to focus on, but I keep having to remind people that this is a 300 page plus memoir and he's only in about five or six pages of it. And I've been told that it's actually the least interesting part of the book, so. I think that reinvention is so important, especially as women, we get put in a box a lot. We're kind of told to stay in line, sit down and dim your light. I just want to be the opposite of that. I want to shine very bright and I want to continue to be loud and in your face with my looks and my opinions. I think that I'm going to be on the right side of history. Okay, Kleenex, womp womp. A shout wipe because I'm always dribbling food on myself. I'm a very messy eater. And of course, my broken janky phone, but I am not getting another one, Apple. You're not getting me again. I have all my notifications off though. I decide when I want to look at my phone, not the other way around. I like don't answer my texts. I don't do phone calls. I don't do FaceTimes. It's really just an avenue for me to go on TikTok. Okay, an extra vape in case mine dies. Candy, more candy. Oh, Gorilla Glue, because something's always popping off, whether it's a nail or a veneer. Oh, my selfie light. I can acknowledge that I became very super well known overnight, but I'm from New York City. When you grow up in New York City, you're kind of fed this idea that you're in the center of the world and nowhere else matters and everyone wants to come to New York and if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Like my life didn't change overnight. Like it stayed exactly the same, except more people knew who I was. Like the cool people knew me. That's what's important here. If you knew what was up, then you knew Julia Fox. Okay. If you're in a position where you're worrying about public opinion or people think about you, your life is going to be like how you perceive it. It's going to be what you choose to look at. And for I know for me, I get a lot of hate. But for all the hate I get, I get the same amount of love. So it's really about who am I going to choose to listen to? Am I going to choose to listen to the really embarrassing person who is writing mean comments on a celebrity's Instagram page? <laughs> like that's so embarrassing for them. Like if anything, I'm just going to pray for them. Next, my contacts, because she is blind. A little bow I got at Claire's because bows are in right now. A necklace. This necklace is by a designer called Ian Charms, and it says, I can make him worse. And I just love that. I think that's such a feminist message. I think my style is definitely evolving and changing all the time. For the majority of my life, I really dressed for the male gaze, where now it's geared toward the girls and the gays. Next, um, Pat McGrath mascara, obviously. Can't live without. Is Samaya lip black. Every time I wear this, people blow up my comments asking me what I'm wearing. Oh, this, this is like the holy grail. If you're, if you wake up and your face is puffy, like mine was this morning because I got drunk last night and partied with Madonna, this is what you want to use. And it comes with like the little activator gel, just slath slather it on and, and then it sends a microcurrent through your face and it really snatches everything and it will eliminate the puffiness. I think I sold it. Hand cream, the Byredo hand cream de los Santos. This one's really good. I love Byredo. Oh, this. This is a discontinued Max Frost lipstick that I got on eBay used. I know that's gross, but I really wanted this color. It kind of has like a two-tone thing happening. A condom that I'll, I will never use, but I can give it to a friend. Oh, <gasps> half a Snickers. That's dark, maybe edit that out. We have one single latex glove. Not sure what that's doing there. Hmm, what does my bag say about me? That I am hectic, messy, and that I'm Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is definitely an icon. 
for sure, because she has everything you could ever need. And she does a lot with a little. And I think that is everything. Thank you for watching. I'm Julia Fox, and this is what's in my bag.